Hello! In this little lesson, we're going to talk about some a card game, a really fun card game that we like to play as our family. It's good for all ages, um, young, old. You can play this game pretty easily. And I'm going to use these massively huge cards to show how to play the game of sevens. So sevens is a game that you play using a standard deck of playing cards. I'm going to use um, a really big deck of cards but um, that's just so that you can see them a little bit more easily. So you start out by taking out the jokers. You're not going to need those. And what sevens is, a very basic game, you're, you deal out all the cards in the entire deck, and your goal is to get rid of all the cards in your hand. And the way that you lay them out is the first player that goes, so if this is you know, two different players, or you, know, you deal them out four different players, five different players, it doesn't matter, just deal out all the cards. The first person to play is the person that has the seven of spades, and that gets laid down on, on the table. So in this case, I have to use the floor because the cards are so big. But you'll lay that down. And the next player, what they can do is that they can play either this, um, another seven, or they can play off of the seven of spades. So they can play the six of spades or the eight of spades based on whatever they have in their hands. So uh, uh, eventually what you're going to end up with, let me show you here, is that you'll end up with all of the sevens laid out there and the numbers going opposite them, the positive, you know, the larger numbers building up that way, eight perhaps, Maybe we'll, oh, look at that, they're all in order. But um, nines, tens, and then you continue to build up in a positive direction the numbers that you do have, and then you'll build down with the smaller numbers that you have, six, five, four, three, two, one, etc. Let's see. So if your hand, you've got the four and the three of hearts, you can't play yet. So you have to wait. And every time it comes to your turn, you can pass or you can play one card. So if we're going around in a circle, the next player looks at their cards and they can play, like a 10 for example, they can go ahead and play that, but what they can't do is play a card that it would be out of order for them to play. So here I just found some more. There's maybe the next person would play a 6, and the next person would play a 5, and maybe this person would have the 6. If you do have a card and you're able to play them, you have to play the card. So I can't pass just to block another person. You have to continue to play all the cards that you do have. And they'll go in order. And sometimes you'll get, um, sometimes you'll get some lines that go farther or faster than others. And sometimes you won't. Sometimes they'll kind of slow down. Maybe they'll go at an even rate all across. Kind of trying to find some more here. There's some fives. Oh, there we go. Five. Oh, I just found a four. Okay, so you would continue going according to what cards people have. So you have to be looking at your hand and seeing which cards you're, cap you're able to play. And when all the cards are played out, basically, you will continue to go and the first person to get all of their cards in their hand down wins. So you end up all the way down to, where were you? I had the ace here a second ago. All the way down to ace. Now, the one thing that you can't do is you can't, you'll close up the ace once you have all the aces in there. What you won't be able to do is then go ace, king, queen. You only go basically from the seven down to the ace or up to the king. The king and ace are, are the highest and lowest cards. So. That's the basics of playing sevens. Hope that that made sense for you. Again, deal out all the cards. Go in order around the table. If you can go, you have to go. Um, but if you have multiple cards that you can play, you get to pick which one that you can, that you want to play. And if you cannot go, then you have to pass. But then the next time it comes around to your turn, then you'll have another opportunity to play. So that's basically how it goes in our family. Um, as you've seen here, if we get to the king, we kind of pull them all together and close them up like we did with the ace and with the king there. 
But um, that's the basics of sevens. We play it with kids as young as like six, five, six. Um, they can get the concept of numbers and king. You know, and they know jack, queen, king. They can pretty much get the concept of playing sevens. Have fun playing sevens. And next week, I'm going to post a video of some strategies of how to win while playing sevens.